Hey guys, BurgWizard59 and I'm coming at you with another LEGO review. And this is on my LEGO Batman minifigure collection. And so, for those of you who do not know, these figures are from the original Batman line, which came out in 2006 and went all the way till 2008. There were about 13 different sets and 26 different minifigures released over that time. And so here in front of you, we have 16 different minifigs, which have been accumulated by, from 7 of the LEGO Batman sets. So, without further ado, let's get into this review. Alright, so the first minifigure we got here is Batman. And so this is the first version of Batman released. And this is the version with the... Um, light bluish gray um, Batman torso and you can see he does have the bat cape and of course your um, helmet and then just a look at our face so that is the first of the Batmans next off here is our second version of Batman this is the black suited version of Batman and again this also has the nice black printing with the gold colored um, Batman sign and belt and then he also has the same mask and same head next off here we have um, our third Batman and this is the Dark Knight version of Batman and so this figure here has the nice um, armor printing across his um, chest along with the black Batman logo right printed right on to the chest plates and then he just like the others has the same face and next off here we got Robin and so there were two versions of Robin released uh, but this is the second version released and so you can see unlike the new one he does have this bright green and red torso with the yellow printing with the R right there and the belt and then you can see he does have the green mask with the kind of like messy kind of hair so that is Robin and as we move right along, next off, we have Nightwing. And this is probably the rarest of all the Batman minifigures. And so you can see this is the first version of Nightwing released. And so you can see he does have the blue arms and the nice detailing on the torso. With the dark blue colored, um, like kind of like chest part right there. And then this hair piece is very, very interesting here, as I'll actually just take it out just to show you. It's quite interesting. Um, it's made of rubber, not the ABS plastic. So, very interesting. And uh, the hair actually kind of reminds me of uh, Kai from Ninjago, his hair somewhat. So, this figure actually retails for about 50 to like $70, $80 um, on eBay so definitely a very expensive figure so that will do it for our superheroes and next off just before getting on to the villains we have two of the Arkham Asylum security guards so you can see very nice torso detailing and this one it's a little tough to see but he does have the dark colored head and as we move over here, our second security guard, and this one here, so move over here. But this one does have the same torso printing, and he is also supposed to have a black baseball cap. And now to move on to the villains, first off, just to show you a couple of henchmen. And so all henchmen back in 2006. Um, had the same exact face, same beanie, same legs, same torso, except for the color. So basically, whatever color the villain was, that's the color of the shirt the henchman wore. 
So this is Mr. Freeze's henchman. And then here we have Joker's henchman. Alright, so to start off the villain side, we have the Joker. And you can see he has some very nice detailing with the purple um, legs and torso. And he has the nice purple overcoat with the red shirt inside. And then he has that nice Joker smile and the cool looking uh, uh, green hairpiece. Next off, we have another very rare minifigure, Killer Croc. And so this figure was exclusive to one set and therefore is very sought after. You can see he has some nice detailing on the uh, torso and the head. And he has the nice dark red eyes. Here we have Two-Face. And unlike the newer version, this is black and white. And you can see he has the nice suit detailing. And what's very cool is on the actual leg piece here, or on the, yeah, leg piece, there's also printing on like this, like a hip piece, which is very cool. And he has the purple and white, or purple and flesh face. Here we got the Scarecrow. And so I am actually missing his hat and the torso does have a bit of brown color and so that was actually because when I was younger it actually put a little bit of sharpie on it so I kind of regret that but still in decent shape he has a nice torso printing and actually very cool is kind of can you see there kind of it, the head glows in the dark so that is very cool Next off is Poison Ivy, another very rare and exclusive figure. And so this one has a nice green torso printing and a dark maroon colored hair and the nice tor uh, face with the green lipstick. Here we have the Penguin, very similar to the newer version of the Penguin. You can see he has the purple legs and bow tie along with the nice top hat and the bifogal and the nice grin so that is penguin and lastly of course the riddler so this is a very cool figure all green torso and legs and he has a nice question mark um, printing on the torso along with the purple mask and black hair so another exclusive figure, and that will do it for the review of the villain. And that will do it for this review of my LEGO Batman minifigure collection. So definitely quite a few rare figures in here with Nightwing and Killer Croc, even the Scarecrow. So definitely rare figures, and I actually went on minifigurepriceguide.com. And for buying all of these Lego figures, like all in one, it would cost $316.42. That will pretty much do it for this review of my Lego Batman minifigure collection. So I'd like to thank everyone for watching this review. So please give this video a thumbs up and do not forget to subscribe for more. So this is Brick Wizard 59 and I'll see you next time.